Let's look at how we can do linear regression. Linear regression is when you want to get an equation to predict some variable. Let's start off with just one variable that we want to predict, performance. And this is, in fact, performance for a set of engineers that's graded on a scale from 1 to 4. And suppose that we have given them a test, a cognitive ability test, and we have a cognitive ability score for them. Now, we might want to do this if we want to be able to hire the best engineers. If we can find a correlation, a relationship between uh, the test score and their performance, we could use this test to hire the best engineers, the ones most likely to, uh, um, uh, to, to perform well. So, and then we could use an equation that describes this relationship to help us make our predictions and hire the, the appropriate people. So our predictor, our, our, uh, the, per, the variable that we're trying to predict is going to be performance, and we're going to use the cognitive, cognitive ability test score to predict that. So the first thing we want to do is let's see if there's a, a correlation between the cognitive ability and performance. So we're going to do that, first of all, with the data analysis tool pack that you should have installed, and go to data data analysis, correlation, OK. Now, uh, the input is going to be this whole table, the two variables starting at B3. I'm going to choose the second column with the shift arrow and then shift down arrow to get all the data. It's grouped by columns. Labels are in the first row. The output range, I want it to be over here. Now, I clicked on output range, but I need to put the cursor in here. I'm going to delete what's there. And let's just put it down here and press OK. And let's uh, round off some of these numbers. Go to Home, the Number section, and go to Number. And we see that the correlation between performance and cognitive ability is, is very good. That's, uh, uh, that's an R of 0.86, which is a strong, uh, strongly positive relationship between the test score and the performance. So let's make this a little bigger so we can read it. There, we can. Now let's calculate the uh, equation that would, we can use to, to uh, uh, predict performance from cognitive ability. And the way that we're going to do that is a real simple way with a scatter plot and trend line and um, trend and an equation for the trend line, our regression equation. Now we'll see later that we could do it with the data analysis tool, but actually this time we're not going to do it with the data analysis tool. So let's go to insert. Let's uh, put our uh, go into the table. Uh, notice that it's a table because we don't have the option to make it into a table now. Let's go to a bar scar scatter chart. Click the first one and it'll take the whole table and it'll put it into a graph and we see, aha, there's a strong relationship between performance and um, uh, the test grade. But it's, this is kind of weird, this chart. Let's see if we can fix it up. We, uh, first of all, those axes, we're only going from 100 to 140 but that's just a real small part. So let's go to chart, uh, let's go to the axes and go to axes options. And for the bounds, it's for the x-axis, it goes from zero to 160. Let's change that to 100 to 140, because that's all the data that we have there. Okay, so that's good. And uh, so that, uh, that fixes that up. Now, if we go to, you know, let's, let's, let's go back to the add chart element and do an axes title, primary horizontal. So this will be test score. And we do cognitive ability test score. And then we need to have a Y axis label. So we go to add chart element axis title, primary vertical, and we will call this uh, performance. Okay, let's change the title to performance of engineers. Okay, now let's go back to the add chart element and add some grid lines, and let's go 
to, no, not grid lines. Oh, let's take off the grid lines. We don't need those grid lines. So I took off the horizontal ones. Let's take off the grid lines for the vertical ones. Okay. Now let's add a trend line. And I'm going to go to more trend line options to get to where we need to go. And it selects a linear one. Now we want to display the equation on the chart and we want to display R squared. So I select both of those and now I can move those to where we can read them. And we have a nice equation um, for our trend line y equals 0.0741x minus about 7 and the r squared is 0.73 or 73 percent and that means that 73 percent of the variability in the performance of these engineers is accounted for by the uh, test scores which means that there's about 27 percent that comes from other things so this test score is a really good way of predicting their performance